Hello, hello. Namaste, peace and blessings. Thanks for joining me here today in the virtual studio. We are going to get started at 7 o'clock on God. And it is 7 o'clock. So I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. I am going to start out in an easy seat. I invite you to find any easy seat that feels good for you. I'm actually going to sit in a half lotus. Yes. So I am in my half lotus. As my buttocks is grounded towards the earth, I am using this seated pose to help ground, root, and center my body here today. As I ensure, as we all ensure, that our tummies are nice and tight, our spinal cords are nice and elongated here, meaning we are not sunken down. We have a nice, long, strong body, having control of our bodies. With our shoulders melted downward away from our ears, as we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Maybe taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. Taking a moment to notice how the breath relaxes and soothes. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe allowing our thumbs to touch our sternum if that feels good for us. As we breathe in, exhale. Finding our mind and our bodies completely relaxed. As we hang out here in silent meditation for five natural breaths. Three more breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute. Fingertips are reaching up towards the heavens. Spinal cord is nice and long as our shoulders flows upwards towards our ears. Allowing that spine to feel nice and tall. We're going to hang out here. We're in our seated salute. We're going to bring our palms apart. And with our palms apart, we are channeling in energies that are soothing and comforting for us. We are channeling in whatever we need, whatever we feel our mind and body needs at this moment, for this month, for this year. Channeling in what is hopeful, what is helpful, and what is beneficial for us. We're going to allow our heart chakra to be opened. Our chin is slightly up with our eyes closed or gazed down. And we're going to hang out and channel in for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Breathe in, exhale. Twisting the body towards the right. We're gonna allow our palms to come downward towards the earth as we work on our seated twist. Softly gazing over that right shoulder, noticing how this feels in our spinal cord. We are relaxing and soothing our spine here. With our, got, with our eyes gazed down, we're closed. We're gonna relax for three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and body back to center, coming into that seated star. And our seated star, our palms are slightly off towards the side. Heart chakra is open, chin slightly up, twisting the body towards the left. Palms flow downward towards the earth as we slightly gaze over that left shoulder. We are working on soothing and relaxing our spine here. Seated spine, seated twist. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhaling the body back to center, flowing into that seated star with our palms out towards the side. Fingertips are pointing towards the opposite parts of the room as we are feeling like a star. 
We are feeling strong and powerful. Chin is up, heart chakras open, bodies relaxed, two breaths. Exhaling our palms above our heads, come into that salute. Palms are together. Point of finger is pointing up towards the heavens as we allow our arms to slightly flow towards the back. Chin is up, heart chakras open. We are feeling this slight back bend here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. We are in that seated salute as we breathe down to our prayer. Allowing our palms to relax at heart center. Shoulders are melted downward away from the ears. This allows our bodies, the upper parts of our bodies to completely relax. Sometimes we keep our shoulders tense and we relax. We have our shoulders upwards towards our ears. So may we relax our shoulders downward away from our ears. Gaze in our eyes down. Tummy's tight. Spinal cord is nice and long. We're going to hang out here in our seated prayer for three breaths. Silent meditation. As we breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Flowing our bodies back to our salute. Palms are above our heads, palms are together. Flowing our palms slept separated. We're gonna slightly bring our palms apart and we're gonna work on a seated C spine here. We're gonna allow our bodies to lean towards the right. Tummies are tight. As we slightly gaze up at the heavens, opening up their heart chakra. Noticing how this side bend feels within the body. And if we choose, we can allow that right hand to connect to the earth. And we can allow our bodies to go deeper in that C-spine, coming closer towards the earth, if we choose. Whatever feels best for you and your body at this moment. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Mm. Exhaling the body back to center, coming into that salute, palms together. Breathing our palms slightly apart as we lean our bodies towards the left. Um, seated C-spine, opposite side. Noticing how we feel as we gaze up at the heavens. And if we choose, we can lower our left palms downward towards the earth, allowing our bodies to go deeper into that C-spine. Head comes closer towards the shoulder. Shoulder comes closer towards the earth. Noticing how this feels. Gazing up at the heavens. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body back to center. Allowing both palms to touch the earth. We have our left palms, right palms on the earth. We are channeling and we are noticing what's going on within our environment. We are using our palms to simply tap in to where we are right here, right now. Simply being aware of what is going on around us without judgment, simply noticing. And during our session here today, we may hear noises, sounds, we may become distracted. May we take notice of what is going on without judgment, simply being aware. As we hang out here with our palms connected to the earth, may we go inward and focus on our present moment for four more breaths. Two breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads in that salute, feeling the movements here, feeling that stretch, Exhaling our palms back downward towards the earth, feeling that stretch. We are going downward towards the earth. We are connecting and rooting with our palms. As we breathe our palms back above our head, connecting our palms to the universe, to the heavens, to space. Feeling that stretch. Fingertips reaches up towards the heavens. Breathe in. 
Exhale, flow the palms back downward towards the earth, connecting the palms to our environment, feeling the vibrations of where we are right here, right now. Tuning in, tapping in, being aware of environment, being aware of self. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms back to our salutes, feeling that stretch. Breathe in. Exhale, prayer. Straightening our legs out parallel side by side. We are in our staff pose. Legs are parallel. Taking a moment to notice how this feels. Spinal cord is nice and long. Shoulders melted downward away from the ears. As we breathe our palms up to our salute. Exhale the prayer. As we slightly hinge at the hips, coming into a seated prayer. Noticing that when we slightly hinge our body at the hips, you'll feel it behind your legs and your hamstrings. Simply being aware of how this pose feels within the body. With our eyes gazed down or closed, we're going to hang out here. Two more breaths. As we slightly hinge deeper, coming into that seated forward fold, reaching our hands down to our ankles or our feet, allowing that torso to come downward towards the thighs, allowing the head to relax downward towards the knees, allowing the toes to point downward towards the earth. We are feeling this full body stretch. We are going inward. We are relaxing and soothing our entire body. Eyes gaze down, heart chakras connected to the thighs. As we breathe in, exhale. May we relax and soothe and go inward for four natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body to half. As we flow to that staff pose. Body's nice and long. Spinal cord is nice and elongated here. We're going to hang out here just for a second. Positioning our bodies to be on our buttocks. We're going to work. Positioning our bodies to be on our buttocks. We're going to work our abdominal muscles, our core here. We're going to lift our knees towards our chest. Yes. Maybe our feet are just dangling. Maybe we can move our legs, our feet left and right. Notice how this feels. Tummy's tight. We are working our obliques. We are working our core, our abdominal muscle. Simply noticing how this feels. As we breathe our knees in deeper towards our chest, we're going to come into that boat pose. Legs, arms are parallel. Spinal cord is nice and long here. We don't want to be sunken. We want to have control of our spine. Boat pose, building strength, core, body, mind. Four breaths. Tummy's tight here. Two more breaths. Feeling that burn. We're going to keep our legs up. We're going to bring our hands inward. And we're going to pound our hands left and right. Feeling that pound. We are working our obliques a little bit more here. Pounding the hands to the right. Pounding the hands to the left. Going as fast or as slow as you feel you need. Five breaths. Feeling a burn here. Three breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause, keeping our legs up, connecting our hands to our feet. Bringing those knees closer towards the body here. Yes. Hands to feet, knees towards the torso. Tummies tight. Hanging out here for two breaths. As we exhale, breathing that left leg out towards the side, both pose variation. Left legs out towards the side, feeling that flex. Maybe we can point our toes downward towards the earth if that feels good. Going deeper into that flex. We're gonna hang out here for three breaths. Chin slightly up, heart chakras open, eyes slightly gaze down, feeling the pose, feeling relaxed. Two more breaths.
Exhaling that left leg inward as we breathe that right leg outward towards the sides. Feeling that stretch. You may notice you feel it behind your legs here in your hamstrings. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up. Body is balancing and strengthening here. Also lengthening here. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up, gaze forward. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling that leg back inward. We're going to breathe that left leg out towards the side. One more time, feeling that stretch, noticing it behind your legs and your hamstring. We are lengthening our bodies, feeling our bodies get nice and elongated. Spinal cords nice and long, feeling that stretch. If all feels well, we can take our right leg out towards the side. Yes, our legs look like a V here. Or we can bend our knees if need be, whatever feels best for you and your body. Or we can keep our legs straight, whatever you choose. Tummy's tight, backs are nice and elongated here. And we're going to allow our bodies to relax and soothe and strengthen for four breaths. Gazing forward, heart chakras open, chin is up. As we allow our legs to fall further towards the side, coming into a wide-legged seat. Noticing how this feels in the body. Two more breaths. As we breathe our legs slightly in, coming inward just a little. Noticing how that when we breathe, noticing how that when we breathe our legs inward, we feel it deeper in our core, our abdominal muscles. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the knees to chest, bringing our feet together. We're going to flow into a bound position. Bottoms of our feet are together. We're going to come into a diamond or a butterfly. And our diamond or our butterfly, which is a bound position, our feet, the bottoms of our feet are connected. Spinal cord is nice and elongated here. Heart chakra is opened. Chin is slightly up. As we gaze our eyes down, and maybe we can allow our head to relax between our shoulder blades. Finding our bodies in a seated cow. Allowing the body to relax and soothe here. You may feel this pose in the lumbar parts, the lower parts of your back here. Maybe. Two more breaths. Exhaling the body to our cat. Chin comes towards the clavicle. Spinal cord goes to the back of the room. We are in our cat pose. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to cow. Flow into cat. Breathing to our bell position, either our diamond or our butterfly. And just taking a note that in our butterfly, our feet are closer towards our torso. And in our diamond, our feet are further away from our torso. So doing whatever feels best for you in our bound position. This is a hip opener. So we are relaxing and soothing the inner parts of our thighs, our hip flexors. We are just going inward here, relaxing the body. And maybe we can breathe our palms at heart center. Spinal cord is nice and long. As we slightly hinge at the hips, allowing the torso to come closer towards the feet. Noticing how that feels, keeping that back nice and elongated. Chin is slightly up, gaze forward. Maybe closing our eyes or gazing those eyes down and taking a moment to go inward and noticing how we are feeling. Two breaths. As we slightly hinge the body at the hips, allowing that torso to come closer towards the, towards the feet, towards the earth. Yeah, so now we are in our bound position, forward fold. We are going downward towards the earth. Allowing our head to relax downward towards our feet. Noticing how that completely relaxes the body. Shoulders melt forward. Head relaxes downward towards the feet. Eyes are gazed down or closed. May we relax here. 
for four breaths. Mm. Breathe in. Exhale. Two more breaths. Slightly gazing forward, coming up to that half fold as we breathe back to our diamond or our butterfly. Spinal cord is nice and long. And we're going to allow our heart chakra to open, chin slightly up, head relaxes between the shoulder blades as we flow into our seated cow. Relaxing the body for two more breaths. Exhale to cat. Flow into cow. Exhale back to our bound position, using our hands to bring our knees inward, straightening our legs back out, finding our bodies back in that staff pose. Toes are pointed up towards the heavens. Spinal cords nice and long, shoulders are relaxed. As we point our toes downward towards the earth, coming into a plantar flex, yes. Pointing those toes downward just for a second, feeling that stretch. As we breathe our palms up to our salute, Exhale a prayer, relaxing the body, pointing those toes back upwards towards the heavens. Now we are in our dorsiflex. Noticing in our dorsiflex, toes are pointed upwards. In our plantar flex, toes are pointed downwards. Noticing how each flex feels within the body. As we take this right leg, we're going to come into, we're going to work on our sage marigis here. Let's give that a try. Bringing that left foot up in the air, knees in the air, foot is flat on the earth. Yes. So, knees in the air, foot flat on the earth. We're going to work on our Sage Marici. Bringing that right leg up, bringing that right arm up in the air. Body leans towards the left. Leans forward, lowering that arm slightly down. As we wrap this right arm around that right knee. Sage Marici. Feeling the stretch. Connecting that hand, that right hand to that buttocks. Feeling that stretch, the thigh, the hip. Wherever you can get to. And if we choose, we can actually take this left arm, if we choose, and wrap this left arm around our backs, interlacing our fingers. Left fingers, right fingers are interlaced. Heart chakra is open, chin is slightly up. We are in our Sage Marici one here. Keeping in mind that in our Sage Marici, we can always breathe that leg inwards if that feels best for you. Whatever you choose. Three breaths, three more breaths. <laughs> Heart chakra is open, chin up. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Slowly uninterlacing those fingers. We want to unwrap that leg, straightening out that leg here. Yes. Breathing our palms up to our salute. Exhale a prayer. Hinging at the hips, coming into that half forward fold. Three breaths. Dorsey pointing our toes downward towards the earth. Two more breaths. Exhaling our hands down to our ankles or our feet. We are in our complete forward fold. Two more breaths. Head flows downward towards the knees. Exhale a half, flowing back to our staff. As we breathe our right, I'm sorry, as we breathe our left, leg up in the air, left, left knee is in the air, left foot is flat on the earth. We're going to do that Sage Marici opposite side here. Taking that left arm, lift it up in the air, lean the body towards the right, lean forward, take this left arm, wrap it around that knee. Sage Marici. And we can hang out here and have fun if we choose. We can go deeper if we want, taking this right arm, wrapping it around our backs, interlacing our fingertips. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up. Sage Marici one. Two more breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Relaxing the body. 
as we slowly uninter, as we slowly uninterlace those fingers, we're gonna unwrap that leg, coming back into that staff pose. Noticing how we feel, breathing to that salute. Exhale a prayer. Flow into that half forward. Breathing down to that complete forward fold. Point to flexing those toes downward, plant to flexing those toes downward towards the earth. Heart chakra comes towards the thighs. Forehead falls towards the thighs. Three breaths. Exhale to half. Flowing back to our staff pose. Noticing how we feel. We're going to take our feet. We're going to cross our feet at our ankles. We're going to come into a tabletop position here. Yes. Knees are hip distance apart. Tummies nice and tight. Dropping down to that collar. Noticing how this feels in our lumbar spine, the lower parts of our backs. We are in our cow pose. Chin slightly up. Allowing that head to relax between the shoulder blades. Two more breaths. Exhale the cat. Chin comes to the clavicle. Spinal cord goes up towards the heavens. Cat pose. Breathing to cow. Exhale cat. Lowing back to our table. Hanging out here just for a couple breaths. How do we feel? Do we feel okay? If so, maybe we can breathe that right arm up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, gazing up at our right fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, right arm thread through the left. Heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, allowing that body to relax and soothe here. Going inward, we are connected to our environment. And if we choose, we can take this left arm, wrap it around our backs. Or we can extend that left arm above our heads, palms flat on the earth, whatever you choose. We're going to go inward here, allowing our torso to completely relax into the yoga mat. Eyes gaze down or closed. Five breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle, finding our bodies back in our table, dropping down to our cow. Exhale the cat. Flowing back to table. As we take that left arm, breathe it up towards the heavens, feeling that stretch, maybe gazing up at our left fingertips. Breathe in. Exhale, thread the needle, left arm threads through the right, heart chakra comes downward towards the earth, gazing the eyes down, allowing the torso to relax into our yoga mat. As we go inward and soothe. And if we choose, we can take that right arm and wrap it around our backs. Or we can extend that right arm above our heads, palms are flat on the earth, whatever you choose as we go inward and see how we feel at this moment for five more breaths. Three more breaths. As we slowly unwrap that arm, we're going to unthread that needle coming back to our table, dropping the body down to curl. Exhale to cat. 
flowing back to our table as we work on our sunbird. Taking that right leg, bringing that right leg towards the back. Nice and long here. Noticing how this feels. As we cross that right leg up, up and down, pulsing it, we are working on our gluteus maximus, working on lifting and rounding our butt axis. Now, we don't have to pulse. We can stay still if that feels best for us. Or we can bring our toes downward towards the earth if that feels best for us. Whatever you choose here at this moment. Sunbird pose here. Well, we are kind of like in a sunbird pose prep. Pulse in that leg. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Feeling that burn. Finding our pause. And if we choose, we can breathe that right arm forward. I'm sorry. You can breathe that left arm forward. My apologies. Right legs towards the back, left arm forward. We are now in our sunbird. Feeling the body strengthen and relax and balance. As we are gaze forward, four breaths. Keeping in mind that we can lower our toes downward towards the earth if that feels good for us. Hmm. Three more breaths. Tummy's tight. Two breaths. Exhale back to the table. Dropping down to that cow. Exhale the cat. Flow into our table. As we take that left leg, bringing it towards the back, feeling that stretch. As we pulse that left leg up. Yes. Working at gluteus maximus on the opposite side. And we don't have to pulse it, we can just stay still. Or we can lower those toes downward towards the earth. Whatever you choose. For those who are pulsing, we are lifting and rounding that gluteus maximus. Yes. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Finding our pause as we breathe that right arm forward. We have the left leg towards the back, right arm forward. We are in our full sunbird as we are gaze forward, tummies tight. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Feeling the body balance and strengthen here as we exhale to our table. Drop into our cow. Exhale to cat. Flow into our table. As we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. Maybe we can push our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. As we walk our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding our paws, shifting that body forward, coming into that front plank. Or low plank if that feels best for you. Whatever you choose. Three breaths. Two more breaths. As we exhale to our low plank, if we're not already there, or flow down to that chaturanga, hovering over that yoga mat. Two breaths. Exhale down to our Sphinx pose. Coming onto our tummies, relaxing on our forearms. Shoulders are melted downward away from the ears. It's always easy in our Sphinx pose to sink our bodies down. But we want to have control of our bodies. Bringing those shoulders away from the ears. Feeling that slight back bend in our lower lumbar spine. Chin slightly up. Head relaxes between the shoulder blades. Eyes gaze down to closed. Breathe in. Exhale. Noticing that this is a slight back bend pose, but it is also a relaxing pose. So we are gonna use this pose to go inward and relax the mind and body for four natural breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Mm. 
Noticing how we feel, we're gonna go deeper into our relaxation here. It's yoga, sometimes we just wanna relax. We're gonna come down to a sleep pose, crossing our hands in front of us, palms in front of us, palms are stacked on top of each other. As we flow down to a sleeping pose, even on our chin, our cheeks, or our forehead. Allowing our eyes to gaze down to close, allowing our shoulder blades to melt forward into the yoga mat. Mind and body is relaxed and soothed here. We are simply taking the time to relax the body, to relax the mind. Five breaths. Five. Breathe in, exhale, shoulders melt forward, eyes are closed, two more breaths. As we slowly awaken from that sleep pose, we're gonna come back to our Sphinx pose, coming onto our forearms. Shoulders melted away from the ears. This is a slight back bend, yes. We're gonna come onto our knees. Yes, buttocks comes in the air, coming onto our knees, walking our knees towards our torso, towards our elbows. Finding the body in a puppy pose. Knees comes towards the torso, buttocks is nice and high in the air. Torso comes down towards the earth. Maybe we extend our palms in front of us. We are in that puppy pose. Maybe our third eye chakra, our forehead is connected to the earth, if that feels good for you. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. Here in our puppy pose, may we feel the stretch. May we feel the slight back bend. May we feel our heart chakra connected to our environment. May we feel our third eye chakra connected to the environment, knowing and seeing and feeling what is needed for us. As we breathe in, exhale. In our extended puppy pose, may we breathe our palms together and allow our palms to flow above our heads in our puppy pose prayer hands. Breathe in, exhale. May we use this time to go inward, relaxing and soothing on self, focusing on self. Five breaths, puppy pose, prayer hands. Two more breaths. Extending those poles back, extending those arms back in front of us, palms flat on the earth. We are in that puppy pose, slightly gazing forward. As we spine away our bodies out of that puppy pose, using our palms to push our torso forward using our palms to push our buttocks towards the heels. Spinal wave in the body, this allows us to relax and soothe our entire spine. Especially if we add our head, if we add our head, our cervical spine into the flow. Allowing that full spine to rotate and circulate here. Three breaths. Mm -hmm. Two more breaths. Finding our paws, coming back to that table, dropping down to cow. Mm. Exhale to cat. Flowing back to table, pushing the body up to that down dog, gazing at our feet. 
walking our dog by pedaling our feet left and right. Finding our paws, walking our hands towards our feet, walking our feet towards our hands. Complete forward fold. Allowing that head to completely relax downward towards the earth. This is a full body stretch. As we take a nice deep breath in, exhale. This complete forward fold is a full body stretch. May we relax and soothe here for four more breaths. Mm. Two breaths. Exhale to half, forward fold. Hands slightly beneath the knees, chin slightly up, slightly gazing forward. Two more breaths. Exhale back down to complete forward fold. As we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, creating that stance so we can flow into a rag dial. Connecting our hands to our elbows, head relaxes downward towards the earth. Rag dial pose. Feeling that body completely relaxed here. And in our rag dial, if we choose, we can sway our bodies from side to side. Rocking that body from side to side, you'll notice that you'll feel it behind your legs and your hamstrings. Whatever you choose, rag dial, four breaths. Two more breaths. Mm. Finding pose at center, come into that half forward fold. As we come to our Tadasana, our mountain pose, palms are at our sides. And our Tadasana, allowing the body to relax and soothe here. Mm. Maybe we're pedaling our feet, moving our legs from left to right. Noticing how this feels. Finding our pause, Tadasana. <sighs> feet are planted towards, the, feet are planted into the earth here. We are planted, we are rooted. Head is in a space, head is in the universe. We are planted, we are up high. Without Our eyes gaze down, shoulders melted downward toward the glutes. Feeling that stretch. Allowing our arms to slightly flow towards the back. Heart chakras open, chin slightly up. Exhale back to our salute. As we flow to our extended mountain. And our extended mountain, our palms are separated, slightly apart. So in our salute, our palms are together. In our extended mountain, our palms are separated. So taking a notice of which pose, taking a notice of which pose of how the pose feels within the body. Yes. As we allow our bodies to breathe towards the right, coming into a standing crescent moon. Still in this side bend as we gaze up at the heavens. Two more breaths. Exhale into center. Crescent moon opposite side, still in that side bend. Gazing up at the heavens. Exhale back to center, coming into that salute. Exhale to prayer. Relaxing the shoulders downward away from the ears. Allowing the body to completely relax. <sighs> Feet is grounded. Feet are grounded. Head is in heavens, is in space. For we are here, but we are there. Taking the notice that we can be grounded. We can be rooted. But we can also be floating as well. 
We can also be high on life. We also can be high on ourselves and knowing that we can make it, knowing that we can do it. We can be big headed, right? We can allow us, we can game ourselves up every now and then. We are here, we are in heaven, we are floating, crown chakra. But at the same time, being here, being big headed, knowing our worth, we are also grounded and rooted. See that there? So we are grounded, we are grounded, we are rooted, we have a place, we have a stance, but we are also allowed to be big headed when it comes to ourselves. We are also allowed to know who we are. We are also allowed to say, yes, I can. We are allowed to say, I can do this. I can be the best at this job, right? I can be the best at this position or whatever it may be. We are allowed to be full of ourselves as long as we are rooted. Please keep that in mind and taking that with you. Know who you are, be who you are, and have power in who you are. And at the same time, always be grounded. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into that seated, coming into that standing prayer here, shoulders relaxed, eyes gaze down. As we close our eyes and maybe just simply go inward and notice how we feel, how we are. Taking the notice of us, where we want to be and where we are right now, where we are going. And what do we need to do? What do we need to be to get there? And when we get there and as we work on our dreams, as we become floating, as we become in space and heavens, as we follow our dreams, may we always stay grounded. May we always stay moved. Silent meditation for breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. Two more breaths. Keeping our palms at heart center, we're going to hinge at the hips, coming into a half forward fold. We are in our prayer hands. Noticing how this feels behind our legs and our hamstrings. Slightly gazing forward. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Hmm. As we slightly bend our knees, we're going to come into a chair pose here. Yes. So now we are working the lower parts of our bodies. We are building strength in our lower parts here. With our palms at heart center, or we can extend our palms in front of us here in our chair pose. Whatever you choose, whatever feels best for you. Gaze forward, heart chakras open, four breaths. Two more breaths. Breathing our palms at heart center. Two breaths. Exhale, cheer pose, twist right side, gazing at our fingertips. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to center. Cheer pose, twist left side. Gazing at those fingertips, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center. Lumber part, lower parts of our bodies getting nice and warm here. Two more breaths. Hmm. Exhale, complete forward fold. Allowing that head to relax down. Allowing our hands to touch our ankles or the earth. As we breathe in. Exhale. Four breaths. Mm. Two more breaths. Exhale a half forward fold. Come into that Tadasana. Palms are at our side. And we're going to continue to build strength in the lower parts of our bodies. And now with Tadasana, we're going to separate our feet just a little, creating that stance as we drop our bodies down here. Yes. We're going to work on a squat. And not a yogi squat, not a yogi squat, just a squat here. Yes. We're higher up and we are working our thighs, our buttocks, our glutes. Yes. Feeling that burn here in our squat. And if we choose, we can pulse up and down. 
If that feels good for you, noticing how that when we pulse, we can feel the burn more. Pulsing is just an option. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Finding pause. Complete forward fold. Maybe coming into that wide-legged forward fold. Connecting the hands to the ankles. Right hand to right ankle, left hand to left ankle. Head nails downward, wide-legged forward fold. Four breaths. Breathe in deeply. Exhale fully. Two more breaths. As we work on a cross body stretch here, we're going to take our left hand, connect our left hand to our right ankle. Slightly gazing over that right shoulder as we wrap that right arm around our backs like we do in a thread the needle. We are in our cross body stretch here. Left hand to right ankle, gazing over that right shoulder, right hand wrapped around that back. Relaxing the body, four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale the center, wide-legged forward fold, two breaths. As we breathe that right hand to left ankle. Yes, gazing over that right, gazing over that left shoulder. We're gonna wrap that left arm around our back like we're doing our thread and needle. We are in our cross body stretch. So let's do that one more time. Right hand to left ankle, gazing over that left shoulder, wrapping that left arm around the back. Cross body stretch, four breaths. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhale and center. Coming into that wide-legged forward fold. Walking the hands forward, bringing the legs together, finding our bodies back in that down dog. Pat on our feet, walking our dog, if that feels good for us. Hanging out here as we drop down to our dolphin, coming on to our forearms. Buttocks is in the air, walking our feet closer towards our torso. Dolphin pose. Our dolphin prepares the body for headstand. And maybe if we choose, we can pulse our bodies up on our tippy toes. Dolphin pose, pulse here. So we are pulsing the buttocks higher in the air with our tippy toes. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Finding our pause, dropping down to our knees, coming into a wide-legged child's pose, allowing the torso to relax between the thighs, <sighs> allowing the heart chakra to connect to the earth, allowing the third eye chakra, the forehead, to also connect to the earth. With our eyes gazed down to close, torsos melted into the yoga mat. May we relax and soothe, go inward, focus on self. Listen to what our environment is trying to tell us as our heart chakra is connected to the earth, as our third eye chakra is connected to the earth. May we listen, may we go inward and take notice of what we need and what we want at this moment. Allowing the body to relax. Five breaths. Breathe in. Exhale. 
four more breaths. Two breaths. Coming into an extended child's pose if we were not already there. Extending our arms in front of us, palms are flat on the earth as we spine a wave our bodies out. Yes, yeah, feeling the spine away. Two breaths. Finding our body at pause, coming into a tabletop. Crossing our feet at our ankles, coming into a seated position. Yeah, for a second. We're going to flow onto our backs, bringing our knees into our chest, hugging our knees into our chest. We are in our reclined position, knees to chest, hugging them in. Three breaths. Spinal cord is melted into the earth. Gazing up at the heavens. Eyes closed, if that feels good. Two more breaths. As we allow our knees to fall towards the left, we're going to work on a reclined spinal twist. Feeling this inside of the spinal cord. Knees fall to the left. Straightening out those legs if you choose. As the right arm flows out towards the side. Gazing at that right arm or gazing up at the heavens. Recline spinal twist. Torso melts back into the earth as we allow our bodies to completely relax here. Breathe in. Exhale. Five breaths. Three breaths. Exhale back to center, bringing knees into chest, hugging knees into chest. As we allow our knees to flow towards the right, recline spinal twist, opposite sides, feeling that spinal twist. Left arm goes out towards the side, gazing over that left arm or gazing up at the heavens. Spinal cord relaxes into the earth. Breathe in. Exhale. Going inwards for five breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back to center. And exhale back to center, hug your knees into chest. Just for a second as we breathe our legs up in the air, legs on the wall pose. Reaching down to connect our hands to the lower parts of our legs. Bringing our legs towards our torso, feeling that full body stretch. Legs to body stretch here. Buttocks comes off the earth. Three breaths. Two more breaths. <coughs> Exhale back up to legs on the wall. As we breathe our knees in, flowing into a happy baby. Breathing our arms inside of our thighs. Hands between the feet, feet is up in the air. Bringing our arms outward towards the side. Connecting our hands to the feet. Happy baby. Yes. Maybe our eyes are closed. Maybe we're gazed up at the heavens. Whatever we choose, we are going to have a little fun and relaxation here in our happy baby. And maybe we can rock our bodies from side to side, using the earth to relax and soothe the spine. Or we can stay still in our happy baby and simply play with our feet, applying pressure towards our feet. But as we know, our feet takes us everywhere we need to go. Whatever you choose, happy baby, five breaths. Mm. 
three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale to legs on the wall pose. Breathing our legs towards our torso. Legs to torso stretch. Exhale back to legs on the wall. Breathing our knees into our chest as we allow our legs to flow down parallel side by side, coming into our Shavasana. Allowing the body to relax as you move here. Legs are parallel, feet are connected as we allow our feet to fall towards the side here, completely relaxing our thighs. Our Eyes gaze down and closed. Heart chakras open up to the heavens. Body is completely relaxed here as we go inward and soothe the seven breaths of silent meditation. Three more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes and rotate our ankles, keeping our eyes closed, may we roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose, relaxing the body, bringing those knees into the chest and our feet, allowing that body to continue to relax here. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we slowly wiggle those toes and rotate those ankles, moving our torso at our hips, awakening the body, keeping our eyes closed if we choose as we use that top hand to push our bodies up, coming into a seated pose. I am going to come into a cow face. May you find any easy seat that feels good for you. Allowing the body to ground and center you. Noticing how we feel as we breathe in. Exhale. Spinal cord is nice and long here. Shoulders are melted downward away from the ears. Eyes are closed. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. As we breathe our palms at heart center, finding our bodies in that seated prayer. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. As we take this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you so much for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today, for it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you Namaste.